I really like the undertones of commanded versus demanded respect in there. I already mentioned the Johnny on the spot versus the scrounger, or the guy who was just like staring at you like a dog. But it also boiled down to the foreman versus the guards. I mean, the foreman was somebody that everyone looked out for in the gang. Granted, he was in charge of the gang, but he had earned that spot. And there was a scene where one of the guards was coming in to try and punish the foreman, and they all gathered around him, and it was basically assumed, like, if you do anything to our foreman, you're going to die in the next week. And so, yeah, you know, the guard has all the authority, but the foreman has all the respect. And that's definitely something that I've learned a lot in the world. There's a huge difference between commanding and demanding respect. Then on just a note of uh, inefficiencies, there's always the joke about in communist rules where things are just super inefficient because there's really no incentive to do the work. And it wasn't exactly in that case, but they would destroy one thing that they needed in order to just survive. So one of the examples was they broke down the safety railings on the stairs so that they could heat the room they were working in so they wouldn't die of you know freezing to death. And then yet later they needed that railing in order to carry the bricks up to the top floor and it made their work far more efficient. Or the example of them breaking their own machines so that then they would have an excuse not to work. But at the same time, it was really interesting to hear how even though he complained about being slave labor and being forced out to work, it seemed like the happiest times that he had were when he actually spent, or when he was actually working, because like the time flew by. 